Okay guys, welcome to Martin Motorsport and today we are at Timmer Speedway, Mildura for the South Australian state title. I know it's in Victoria but that's just how it works. Um, so 42 cars here, so a big field, we've got cars from Northern Territory, New South Wales, Victoria obviously and South Australia with uh, I think Australian champion, New South Wales champions here, Tasmania, uh, Northern Territory champion is here and the South Australian champion so she's uh, gonna be a pretty hard meeting uh, you get three heats tonight and uh, then top 16 will go into the straight to the feature and then the next four out of the B main will tack on the end in the last four spots to get the feature field of 20 cars so uh, Sam's just grooving a tyre we might go down and uh, have a bit of a look at that in a minute but it's a stinker it's 38 degrees or 100 degrees Fahrenheit if you happen to, happen to be watching from America g'day guys back at Mildura track looking pretty good Nucky how you going mate uh, yeah I think it's gonna be pretty similar to last time track looks real good so pretty big field just try and stay out of trouble get some valuable points in the heats if we can and yeah see where we end up catch you guys later <laughs> Okay guys, here we go, heat one, I'm knackered, it's still 100 degrees here, walked about 100 metres and I'm stuffed, starting three back on the outside in position six, so uh, sort of if you talk about luck of the draw, he probably didn't get a real good heat draw, he's got Australia one, South Australian one, Victoria number one, and Ryan Alexander and a couple of other hot shots so we'll see how he goes as long as he tries to keep out of or hopefully keeps out of trouble doesn't look like there was much passing going on in the first couple of heats so see what happens in the first couple of corners I'll film the first bit then hopefully we can go to clay preview Okay guys, heat one, bit of a disaster, had a coolant hose which blocks that inlet there, split a hole in it and it started leaking, water going everywhere, so uh, Sam had to pull her in field to hopefully not blow the motor. Thanks to Nuck. Trevor Nucky's got one there for us to fix it up. And it was pretty loose while he was out there, so we're just going to tighten her up a bit, see what happens. But, a bit of a struggle now. Okay guys, heat two, and I'm trying to catch me bloody breath again. Where is he? Position three. One back on the inside. Bloody tough one. South Australia, number one in front. Australia, number one behind. Northern Territory, number one back on the right and eight other good drivers so see how we go
congratulations on the heat race win as we get stuck straight into heat race number seven. And how about this off the front row? Martin and McCarthy, a pair of stern operators in this category, end at this track in particular. Here comes Todd Hobson up the inside now as well. The Larry Fitzpatrick racing Australia number one. He's up to that third place spot. That particularly non-wing chassis built out of the States. They put a lot of research and development into that DRC chassis. He knows that car inside and out, and this year it is, of course, a national championship winning car. But back to the front, it's the defending South Australian champion of Tyson Martin wheeling it to the top, Kai. On the move, it's busy further back in the pack as well, but the current defending SA title holder, can he go back to back to back tonight? He's doing okay in this heat, he leads by four or five car lengths on McCarthy. Hobson right behind him, then it's back to Brad Vaughan. Look at Sam Martin in fifth, sliding across the front of Broomey. Broomey will try and engage a crisscross as they race down the back stretch into turn number three. And he near on gets it done through that little part of the uh, bottom on three and four that's playing up just a tad. And Martin back to it, tries to get Broomey once again, picks up the inside, has a moment, and Broomey passes once again. The battle for the mid pack, fifth position is absolutely on at the moment. Your race leader is still Tyson Martin. McCarthy second, still holding off Hobbo, who's right there. Then it's not too far back to the 80 machine. The Anguston Motors car, as Martin gets past. McCarthy, as I said, a bit of a gap back to him in second, but it's not gonna matter anymore because the checkers are out for heat number seven. SA1, S23, and Australia one, one, two, and three across the line. Brad Ford home in fourth. And Mitchell Broom, Liam, will round out the top five. Okay, guys, E2. Not over flash, but he was surrounded by bloody superstars and uh, didn't have much grip on the right rear, he was saying. So we've just done a little bit of a change on that and not really too sure what's going on, but uh, get out there and give it another crack. Starting near the back in the last heat, so uh, got the super sedans on out there. But uh, you got a bit of work to do, so need to get a few more points. So hopefully, we can get to the middle of the B main. We'll see what happens. She's been a tough night. Okay, here we go. Heat three. That's him at the back on the inside, uh, second from the back on the inside. Nothing to lose here, try and get a few points and uh, get in the, a good spot in the B main. Green flag ready. Racing. As they get into one and two, even jump up front. The 87 of Sealy has to allow the 56 machine take Cowie into the front of the pack as they run into turn three and four. Trill and Tapley, that would have been close. Tapley snaps the tail out and here comes Tyson Martin. Busby to the inside. Wheels there as well. Wow, that was tight in the middle of pit corner. They stay three wide down the back stretch. Race leader up front is still Cowie. He's got company from the 87 and the 58. And the 87 of Sealy goes around the outside. Can he make it stick? Further back, it's still on like Donkey Kong, that is for sure. As Truant now looks to the inside of Cowie, on the way into turn number three, gets it done. Will he make it stick on the exit? Just as they race into turns one and two, it goes for the slider on the race leader. Doesn't make it happen, stays second. So it's Sealy, Truant and Cowie, and a gap back to that battle pack for the miners in this one. Yes, this is a strong drive out in front of Sealy right now. Truitt and Cowie. That was strong last time out here. There's no doubts about that, but it is getting tough through the middle of this field as Tyson Martin's trying to make his way through the field. And this car is very loose for him right now. There seems to be something plaguing the right hand rear corner, but perhaps that tyre going down. It's really hard to see from this inside corner, but he lays over a very long way on that right rear corner and this car looks super loose. So it's hard to pick from the naked eye, but it seems to be laying over on that right rear corner just a little bit more than 
I'm sure they would like and that car is struggling. There's no two ways about that. Sealy back in the front from Truett and Cowie. They're starting to stretch their legs just a little. The all white wheels of Nate Truett. Take Cowie. That's in the top three. Busby in this as well. There's some heavier stuff up towards the top that they're trying to find, but a lot of it's to the bottom. Boy, they're banked up. It's going to collect a few of them. I missed the car that turned it first. It might have been Busby. I think it was. Boy, we'll go yellow. And there's four of them involved. Yes. Definitely Tyson Martin was a passenger. The next one to follow it along. And they just speared in there. I think it was definitely Busby that had gone around first. And then it's a car park down in the corner. Yeah, Luke Wheel and Anthony Tapley. Two solid cars caught up in that one as well. Not that there's a good time of the night, but this is far from it. <laughs> there's certainly less time up. It's tough, isn't it? It's a really, really gruelling sport, and it's there's never a good time in the night, but that's the worst time. I was no not expecting... Thing to see that, I tell you. He drove in hard. There's no two ways about that. It's it's super tough. Yeah, wow. And not a little bend either. No, it's not happy sitting there by any means. So the cars are on the infield. The ones out on track, however, are about to get back underway. Dylan Sealy, Nate Truen, Tate Cowie, Sam Martin. Your top four as we get back underway, Liam. Yes, yeah, Sealy should try and lock the ship down from here. These three out in front have been strong. There's no doubt about that. They've had a stranglehold on this heat race. Boy, is true and puts it straight to him. Sealy from True and from Cowie. Then Martin. It's Sam Martin at the fourth place spot. And Wheel is way upstairs as he's tapping through the middle. But Luke Wheel is really opening this place up. He's pedalling up top and trying to shift the way forward. He's got plenty of ground to make back up. A few cars down this one. Checkers will wave. Boy, that was close to the line. There's no doubt about it. I'm certain that the checkered flag waved. So we're staying green at checkers. Definitely. Okay guys, that heat uh, wasn't too bad, but we thought we'd just check the shocks and uh, see what's happening and I'm glad Sam's only in this sport for a bit of fun because when I changed them after heat one, I put a uh, 15 on the back, which was the one I wanted to put on and we've sort of checked and there must have been a scratch mark in front of the five because it's only a five. That's supposed to be on the bloody front. So he's done two races and he hadn't hit me or anything yet. But if I didn't have a DNF in the first one, he'd have a black eye right now. <laughs> That's not nice. So, uh, all right, the number one uh, mechanic fucked up. So. We'll put the 15 on there and see what happens. Should be a little bit better. So we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, that was a stupid mistake. And Leanne Turner, lights are out. They roll down the back stretch. Wingless sprint V main for the South Australian title. 15 laps, four make it through. We roll into three and four. Lights are out. Green flag about to drop. Green lights glowing. Racing here in the V main. And Corey Brown's got the jump as they run into turn one and two. Keep an eye on the greasiness as they run down the back stretch. They all survive the first half of lap one. We're three wide in the mid pack. We survived lap one, 14 laps ago. Paul Brock, the wife home. There he is, Sam Martin into third. And the battle for the transfer 
is on and it will be for the rest of this you'd think the 67 getting passed around the outside by the 26 of Brad McCarthy he slides into the transverse front Mason Merrick still right there in the S55 and further back Jesse Alexander drag race down the front stretch quick it's a fast beam man we're in for upstairs this joint is moving right now so lights will go out and well really they won't come back on oh the green lights working again we're not off the flag anymore. That's good news. That's good news, boy. That's a hell of a start. My bro, Martin, a big lunge at the bottom. And just like that guy, he's succumbed to that spot again. Brad McCarthy goes to three. And he has a couple of spots buffer. But I tell you, the car to watch coming up is Alexander. In at the sixth place spot right now. So say it grabs some concrete and loses a ton of positions. But... That's a fast moving car in the field. And things are gonna really tighten up. Tapley finding his way through. He was caught in that big wreckage in the last heat with Tyson Martin. He did well to escape. Too much to come of that, but I'll tell you what, Kai Tapley's one of the fastest cars on track at that fifth place spot. Yeah, one of the Mr. Consistents is up front there, Bentley. Even though they're making the transfer, they are going at it. McCarthy side by side with Belitho and going for the race lead on young Corey Brom. He might get it done as they exit turn number four. And as always in the V main, fellas, come and down. You're all making the show, but they are going at it at the pointy end. McCarthy, there you race leader, third to first in two laps. Brom second, back then to Belitho. Sam Martin's watching this all unfold, but look who's coming around the outside. And tap, tap, tapley in the Ionix number 47 is looking to make his way into this A main. Your top five are spread out from the rest of the field who are still going hammer and tongs for the miners. But up front, Liam, transfer battle is about to get spicy. Oh, oh, oh. Sam Martin will see him now. And boy, that is his A main chance sailing up alongside Martin. Tapley. Boy, this could be a battle for any of these four from position two, three, four, and five. Martin needs to get a move on. He pitches it to the bottom of Belitho. Tapley is upstairs. Anthony Tapley. Can they make it three wide? Boy, this is a hell of a battle for a transfer spot. Belitho. Martin puts the move on the pair. Tapley goes to the top. Three wide and suddenly it's Broham squeezed out the back. Tapley is glued to the top. Broham rips back on Martin. This is a B made for the ages, Kai Richardson. Oh yeah, and Belitho gets a bit of a moment in one and two, that slight run. We're three wide for the transfer. Tapley through the middle, Martin on the bottom. He balks a little, that's Tapley and Belitho had to slow up. Second is still Brom, third is now Martin, but he'll probably be fourth on the exit of the turn for us. Tapley gets a run up top. Back then to Belitho, your race leader has checked out in McCarthy, second. Still Brom and settled for this lap. Brom second. Tapley there in third. Martin holding on to the transfer position. There in fourth. Back then to Belitho as now Tapley has an attack on the S29. Gets it done. White flags out this time. One to go in. A hell of a beat made. The race leader's half a lap ahead of this battle pack. McCarthy should get through turn three and four and transfer to the A to start out of 17. He does just that as he exits out of four. Check it flag. Second in the B, and starting 18th in the A will be Anthony Tapley, and then it's Corey Brom and Sam Martin, third and fourth here in the B. They'll complete your final row, but Lytho has to bite the bullet. Okay, guys, so this is Tyson Martin's car, so I'd rather be filming him winning the title. So he's two-time South Australian title winner. He got caught up in that crash. You should be able to uh, see the shape of that chassis bending around so uh, that's his sponsor there Normie Moore talking to Sam so uh, very unlucky with an incident where a car spun in front and nowhere to go but uh, that's racing and uh
day guys, a good B main, had a good uh, tussle there, second, third and fourth. We get back in and uh, just working out what to do and all of a sudden it starts spitting water out so that little tube in there, so you can put the torch on. That little, that's our sort of stuff up, we've tried to fix it but it's not working so there's a little rubber clamp, same as we changed before over on the left so we've had two of them go, just slack workmanship, we should have changed those and had our eye on them and uh, then the battery was flat for being a little bit overheated so uh, we pulled out and uh, this is okay still in one piece, he had a good run, that was a lot better in the B main so, catch you later okay guys, there's a fair bit of shit getting talked at the moment barbecue's on, it's looking good better get the lid down and they keep taking the piss out of me for putting the wrong shock in hey, you got to experiment but Daniel, our mate from Darwin, he's, he's having a bit of a kit, but he'll be up once we get the barbecue sorted out. G'day guys, just a quick rundown on the state titles at Mildura. I won't go into too much detail because Dad's probably covered most of it and obviously we had a bit of a shocker, so I'm trying to forget about it. Um, yeah, those two rubber plugs that exploded on us in the first and after the B we put two new ones on so we shouldn't have that issue for at least a couple of years <laughs> need to replace them more often so that was on us uh, we have put new coolant in I've changed the oil oil filter started it up and it's um, yeah running sweet so that's all good uh, the battery has been playing up it's just for some reason it's not charging up from the motor so I've checked the alternator that seems to be fine so we'll replace that before the next one and uh, this engine plate's got a crack in it so I'm gonna have to whip that off take it to Michael Cowlin and he can weld it up for me so thanks Michael in advance hopefully he watches this so he knows it's coming um, yeah I think that's about it as for the night it was actually still pretty good uh, had a good couple of battles, uh, had one with Broomy, a couple of slide jobs, good fun, uh, good clean racing, so that was good. Had a couple of interstaters come up, say hello, introduce themselves, uh, say, said they watched the YouTube channel, so it's always good when people come up and, you know, appreciate what we do. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the car. Um, thanks to Pitcher for doing my injectors um, and anyone else who come up and try to help us out to get out for the A after the B um, yeah, there's about four or five people coming up trying to help so really appreciate it such a good class for that everyone sort of helps each other out so that was good um, yeah I think that's about it as for the bikes the Speedway bike is going to stay there for a little while um, I need to order a couple of parts but I don't have any plans to ride it anytime soon if I get caught up I might have a tinker with it but at the moment I want to concentrate on the long track bike because the meeting at Bathurst is in three weeks I think so that's going to come up pretty quick um, not so much this bike but Braden's bike had a issue with a few nuts and bolts just coming loose so I'll go through this and just chuck a bit of Loctite on a few of the bolts um, but it all seems to be pretty good and during the meeting with the long track it's hours breaks in between races so we got plenty of time to go through all the nooks and crannies on the bike so should be, should be okay um, you just obviously don't want bolts coming undone at that speed so yeah um, I'll just be concentrating on this um, and I think that's about it as for the car the next it's all nearly ready to go besides that engine plate in the battery uh, we lost the drain plug for the diff but Casey's got a spare diff he said he'll lend us his for now if um, the new one doesn't arrive um, yeah that's about it next meetings two weeks time at Murray Bridge we're supposed to be at Wakery this weekend but we've just been 
too busy and uh, yeah we thought we would have this week off so decided not to enter and yeah looking forward to racing at Murraybridge got a few different ideas with setup that we're going to test out and yeah see if it's any better and I think that's about it so I'll catch you guys at Murray Bridge see ya